<clears throat> Welcome back, uh, patriots. Welcome to Sons of Liberty 1773. This is indeed where men and women from around the world gather in defense of liberty. I am your host, Bill Bailey, who will be channeling the patriotism of America's founding fathers. So, folks, the, um, we are at war, okay? This country is in the second civil war. Uh, it's a cold civil war, but it's heating up rather quickly. So Gavin Newsom, and, and this is going to be his strategy, okay? Uh, they're saying they're going to remove Trump from the ballot. Uh, they're going to make him guilty uh, without a trial, you know. Uh, guilty till proven innocent. Uh, these people are out to destroy this country. So what they're going to do is they're going to use the 14th Amendment. And this is, I just watched um, Professor Dershowitz on uh, The War Room. Uh, he said, and I, and I knew this, I didn't need Dershowitz to tell me this, but it's complete garbage what they're trying to do. They're going to say that Trump, uh, he, he, uh, he's an insurrectionist. He, he rebelled against the country, and therefore by the 14th Amendment, he's not eligible to be on the ballot. And they're going to try to remove him. You know, uh, and once this happens in California, you know, secretaries of state like Jocelyn Benson will say, well, he's, uh, he's an insurrectionist and uh, the, because of the 14th Amendment, and they'll give some BS, you know. I took an oath to uphold the Constitution and Trump has violated the 14th Amendment. He's an insurrectionist and he can therefore not be on the ballot in Michigan. This is what they're going to try, folks. Bannon's convinced they're going to do this. Totally unconstitutional. Just more stuff Trump has got to fight against. Um, and I watched a pollster on Bannon say, at least 20% of Republicans will not vote if Trump isn't on the ballot. Uh, because what's the point, right? Uh, if they're going to tell us, we the people, you know, we are a government of the people, for the people, and by the people. If, we, if we're not running our government, we can't pick our candidates. It's over, man. Um, so we're heading toward a major constitutional crisis. Um, why McCarthy and, well, he's a California Republican, you know, a.k.a. Democrat, um, are doing nothing. You know, all I'm seeing in Washington is the same old smoke and mirrors bullshit where they have these committees and they yell, you did this and by God, we're going to come down on you for this. And, and then that's it. Nothing happens. And um, uh, if that's what they're going to do, um, you know, um, we're in trouble. So um, look for this strategy by the, uh, the communists. I mean, they're not really Democrats, they're communists. Um, to try to take our candidate away and the rhinos will help, right? Um, I'm not voting for, for, as Bannon calls it, any of the Keebler elves. Um, the... Um, uh, debate, I think it's in Wisconsin. Trump said, you know, screw you. I'm not, I'm not coming to it. Matter of fact, I'm not going to any of them. Why would he? He's ahead of, the, he's ahead of all of them, like 40, 50 points. Um, no. And um, I think he's going to, um, he might even, get, you know, go in to get himself booked on the BS charges in Atlanta where they're going to, you know, take mug shots, you know, turn left, turn right, click, click, click. Uh, and, you know, leak him out to the media and look at, there's Trump, he's been arrested, you know, they've took his mug shots. Um, we are dealing with absolute evil in this country. And um, I'll tell you, it's not, it's not looking good right now. It's not looking good. Uh, I suggest that you keep prepping big time, uh, stocking up on food and ammo, you know, um, water, ammo, um, Shelter, ammo, uh, a lot of two-way stuff. Keep your powder dry, my friends, because uh, uh, I don't know where this thing's going, but um, I'm not living under communism. Uh, and Trump, you know, he's did nothing wrong. He did nothing but good, goodness. Or, um, he did nothing that was bad for America. Everything he did was great for America. Um, making trade deals that once again benefit America instead of the CCP and our enemies. Um, drove inflation down to like, you know, it's like 1%. What was fuel? Under two bucks? Uh, you know, uh, 
we were we were an energy exporter. We were making so much energy under Trump. Um, and uh, Biden destroyed that on day one. I think uh, creepy Biden is leading us to World War III. I really believe that. I, I think they want it. And I think he's about ready to, I think we got so much stuff on him now and the walls are closing in that he's, you know, got half a brain. I mean, he's, he's, he, he ain't hitting on uh, two cylinders out of eight. Uh, he's a half a can short of a six pack. Uh, you know, he, he just doesn't know if he's coming or going. Um, he might say, you know, hey, screw it. You know, I'll go out on a, go out on a good note and, you know, or a bad note, uh, start World War III. Who else can say that? I'm the president that ended the world. Uh, I don't know. Guy seems nuts to me. Uh, and um, Wendy Bell uh, shared a clip uh, when his, he was in a car accident and I think his wife and, uh, forget, wife died and the son. I can't, I can't remember now. But he took that, he got sworn in in the hospital and said, I want to let everybody know, you know, that if it comes between the family and the government, uh, you know, it'll be my family first. But, you know, he used the death in this terrible accident to make it about Joey. You know, he's um, uh, not a good guy. I've never liked the guy, never. Um, so we're going to have to keep um, staying vigilant, folks. If they take Trump off the ballot between this um, criminal lawfare they're doing uh, and this other stuff with these um, uh, rogue um, legislatures and, and um, you know, communist secretary of states like Jocelyn Benson, uh, our country's gone at that moment. It, it's over. Um, and, and then we have to decide uh, easy decision for me, but you know, all, everybody's gonna have to decide if you're gonna be serfs, um, living under tyranny, you know, in the Orwellian world, or if you're gonna take our country back and restore the rule of law. Um, I don't wanna overthrow our country, never wanted to do that, but I do wanna restore um, our country to the country our founders left us with. Um, they would have never put up with, with the tyranny we're living under now. That never happened. Uh, the, you know, when you see what they're taxing us, you know, real estate, sales tax, um, oh, what's some other taxes? You know, some states say tax food, right? Gasoline tax, uh, you know, taxing the taxes, income tax. They didn't have income tax back then. Uh, I mean, they're getting like, when you add it all up, I mean, they're taking half of our money. Uh, and, you know, people just don't have it. I told you the other day that um, the cost of housing since Biden came to office, from 2019, it was about 21% of your gross income uh, to buy a home. Uh, you know, insurance, taxes, house payment. Now it's 50%, folks. That's just if you're lucky enough to own a home. 50% goes to, goes to paying for the house. Then you got food, which is up through the roof. Uh, gasoline, which is up through the roof. You got to buy a car up through the roof. Uh, and, you know, that's why uh, credit card debt is at its all-time high and national savings per household is at an all-time low. Um, and this idiot uh, wants to print more money. Right now we bring in, I forget, five or six trillion or... Um, anyways, they're, they're spending two trillion. They want to spend two trillion more than we take in. Um, which reminds me, uh, Alex Jones broke this story, a um, credible source, I guess, that they're getting ready to go back with the, um, a lot of the um, COVID restrictions. Uh, pilots have to wear, um, and the stewardess, I think, they have to wear masks, and pretty soon it'll be everybody flying. Uh, and they're bringing all this stuff back, and, and we know why, right? Because we're, we're heading into uh, 2024. Um, but what they're going to do if they really lock us down again, hey, let's print more money. You know, no, we had to, you know, people can't go to work. Let's send those checks out and let's, you know, pump another, you know, eight, ten trillion dollars into the economy of funny money. Um, we are so doomed right now. Uh, if in, in uh, they are going to do as much damage. Look at they have everything to lose, my friends, everything. I mean, these people are looking at going to prison. Because uh, we're coming after them. Uh, the gloves are off. 
uh, no more Mr. Nice when Trump comes back in office. We have to. These criminals have to pay for their crimes, for this lawfare, for incarcerating uh, Americans that simply showed up at a, at a, a peaceful protest uh, to um, petition the government with a redress of grievances. They did not like um, the, the election. They thought it was wrong. Uh, and they were there to show to complain. We can do that in America, uh, but you know, right now the we, the communist. Um, this is what they do when they take over a country. They you know pervert the elections, they get in power, and then they go after their political opponents so they never run against them again. Uh, and we're seeing it right um, every day. We're seeing it. So uh, it's going to get really hot. Things are going to get really hot, uh, and that's not good, okay? Um, every month, it's just going to get um, more and more heated as we come closer and closer to November. Um, I think Trump was talking about seeing if they can combine all of these cases that are against them because it's all about election interference and getting this to the Supreme Court and hopefully getting a favorable ruling because, look it, What's going to happen? We ever get power again? We're doing it to them, uh, and you know somebody's got to be um, uh, the leader and say no, no, you're not doing that. Um, somebody's got to be, you know, the uh, the honest actor or the uh, referee, or you, you know, uh, say no, you, you can't do that. Not in America. This isn't a banana republic, although it is. Um, I think. Um, uh, Dershowitz has a banana scale that a full banana republic is 10 bananas and he's got us at four bananas. I probably have us closer to seven. Um, so maybe that's an option for Trump. Um, you know, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, the F-16s are going to Ukraine. Um, they're all in for the war, folks. Um, the, um, the neocons, the, um, uh, those that are bought and paid for by the military industrial complex. Oh, and by the way, this new new um, um, variant, I guess, of COVID that's coming out, I see they're getting a booster ready to go, you know, for everybody. Um, so I think they've seen what happened in 2020 work pretty well. So let's just redo it. Let's rinse and rinse and repeat. Um, Take care of your household. Pay stuff off. If you've got toys that you're not using, motorcycle, snowmobile, um, you know, RV that you don't use anymore, and you owe, you know, you about got your house paid off. Pay some, get rid of some of that stuff. Buy preps. If you're not using it, sell it. Buy preps. Pay off what you can pay off. Uh, keep some cash at home. Uh, you know. Food first, you know, everything you need to live for, you know, a year to five or ten. You can't have enough preps. I think a year is a minimum now. Used to say 30 days work towards six months, but ultimately a year. Now a year is like having 30 days. It's, I mean, a year is just kind of getting your toes in the water and prepping. I mean, you need to work toward having three to five years of stuff on hand. Really hard to do, folks. Uh, but you can do it. The least expensive way is just buy a lot of white rice and dried beans. Uh, we're talking about survival, not eating caviar, uh, which I wouldn't eat anyways. I think it's disgusting. Um, I just think, um, you know, my, my New Year's predictions for 2024 was the greatest depression in World War III. Um, and um, uh, every day I'm feeling... Um, Unfortunately, like um, my prediction may my predictions may end up being um, true, and that would really suck. I I want to be wrong on those. I expect to be wrong, but um, I mean I'm just looking at what's going on in the world and where it's leading us, and uh, it's not taking us to a good place. And nothing's changed. If anything, they've stepped on the accelerator. So that's um uh, that's it. I think the big thing is is to watch California. Uh, and watch these Secretary of States try to take Trump off the ballot. Uh, and it's just more lawfare, right? It's more interference. Uh, oh, and Dershowitz said, um, the founders 
did not want it to ever be easy to remove a president. That's why even if the charge is treason, and they're convicted of treason, I think, in the House, it still takes two-thirds of the Senate to remove a president over treason. Um, so what they're doing is completely unconstitutional. Um, I think they know this. I think it's just about tying up the president in uh, having to hire more attorneys, spend more resources, take less, it allows him less time on the campaign trail. Um, it's totally um, interference. Um, we are, uh, you know, um, we are snowballing to hell. This country is um, fast tracking off the cliff to the bottomless pit. And um, I don't know if we're going to turn it around. So I know with, if God wants us to turn it around, we're going to turn it around. Um, so keep praying because if God is with us, who can be against us? So that's it. I'm going to get Renee and go do our uh, two mile hike and, um, you know, try to unwind from all the negative stuff I've saw in the news today. I didn't even touch on it, by the way. Um, just um, not good. Um, I, I think we're, um, you know, one of these days, I think we're going to see the, the, the stock markets make a massive correction. Um, my opinion, I'm not a financial advisor, do your own research, but that's my opinion. Um, I don't have much in there. If I lose it, I lose it. Um, I think gold and silver are, are good things to own. They've been a steady currency for 10,000 years, uh, and they can't yet print them. Now, maybe with AI, they'll figure out how to make fake gold and fake silver uh, that will pass any test you put it under. I mean, it'll literally be gold or silver. Uh, but right now, they, they can't do that. And there's a, a finite amount of it. And it is what it is. And uh, that's why it's been a stable currency. Uh, unlike this administration, which is full cloward and piven, uh, that wants to print our money into them um, uh, till it's worth nothing. Um, just not good. Did you get those antidepressants? <laughs> you know, you need to pop a couple of them before you watch one of my videos. Uh, hey, we'll get through this. America's been through some tough stuff, but I will tell you, I, I would think um, we're, we're just pre, if you want to know where we are, are in compared to American history, we're, we're just months before the Civil War started. That's where we are, 1860s. Um, I know this, we outnumber them, folks, 10 to 1. I, I bet 10 to 1 we out, outnumber them. Um, seven to one, but I'll bet 10 to one. Uh, so, you know, if things ever get heated, uh, we have the numbers. Just remember that. All right. Keep prepping, keep praying. I'll see you next, uh, in the next video. I love you all. See you. Bye.